time, everybody clap your hands. hands. Hello everyone, Roslyn here checking in. Um, today is Thursday. If you guys watched yesterday's video, myself was supposed to go to work and I didn't. I had like hard like computer work to do and I concentrate so much better when I go into work. We went to ice cream with the Just Kids and then we took a little joyride, which a little bit of the joyride details will be. Actually, you know what? We didn't even vlog the joyride. So we took a little, a little, little, little joyride to iron out some details of some things that are coming in the future future so we did that and then i came back home and ryan and i actually co-cooked dinner yesterday if you guys followed us on instagram you guys saw all of that happening it was a delicious dinner and then we hung out with my in-laws played cards and stuff like that so today i have to go into work which is why i'm ready and my husband knows how well i do with mornings so he actually brought me coffee upstairs <sighs> this does everybody around here a favor so i just gotta do a few things like put my watch on I'm wearing this one because sometimes I leave my phone like sitting on the desk at work and then it rings or it dings or whatever and I can't get to it and then I've missed a call or whatever it may be. So this is a very nice watch to have when I'm going into work. I gotta do, I'm gonna unlock it first. I gotta do a few more things around here and then the boys are excited for me to be able to walk them across the street. And I got Silas, my little Seahawks fan. Hi, Bobby. Hi, Russell Wilson. Hi, Russell. The weather today is going to be so different. It's going to be like 74 degrees or something. So I put on a sweater. Look at mommy's sweater. Bubby, look it. Seahawks. You guys are matching. You match, Bubby. Oh gosh, the lighting is horrible up here. Jeremiah 10.10. Jeremiah 10.10. The Lord is the true God. The Lord is the true God. Good job, Bubby. Help you with what, Bubby? Okay, I'm coming. Jonah doesn't want to wear the sweater that he had in his backpack because he says it smells. And does it? It doesn't smell fresh. I will say that much. Like everybody's already at school. So we had to come up here. He's too short. We actually made their closets into three sections. He couldn't reach it. So now we got three children with sweaters. Do you have a sweater on, Ray? No, he just has. Ray just has long sleeves on. Out of breath. Hi, Seahawks. You notice my shirt, my sweatshirt. Football game tonight. Yay, I'm so excited. What's that receipt to? My, they noticed that, that, and that that I put up the other day. Look at these leaves, they're crazy. Go, go, go. We need to trim this, right? Like, bad, bad. You see your hands, Bubby? Right, he's on the other side of you. Ready for school, Kai? Have a good day. Mm -hmm. Oh, your eyes are not clean, Jonah. Your eyes are not clean. Did you put baby wipes on? Yeah. Oh, dad thing. Bye, Bubby. Such a dad thing. Put some spit on it. I, I don't, I'm going to say it one time. You're going to say it one time? Mm -hmm. You sound like mommy. I'm not going to repeat myself. Huh, Bubby? Okay, tell me. Just say it one more time. I will sit on my blanket and, and I will I will grab it uh -huh. and put myself in. Okay. I get gas and then I'll come back and get you if you need to. He goes, oh, what happened here? He goes, Grandpa told me that he's going to leave my blanket here. I was like, okay. And I go, what did you say, Bubby? He goes, I'm going to just say it one more time. I was all, that sounds like me. I'm not going to repeat myself. What? Where's your backpack? Do you see it in here? Where? Is the backpack in the front, right? Did you get your backpack yesterday from school? Yeah, I think your backpack's at school still because Grandpa didn't grab it, and that's okay. We'll we'll go get it this morning, okay? Okay. You're gonna have a good day today. A little bit or a lot? A lot. Okay. Oh goodness, your cough. Yeah, it's not as bad as the other day. Bye, Bubby. Bye, mommy. Love you. Look, look for your backpack, okay, love? Mm, you're so sweet. Bye, Bubby. 
He's sweet when he goes to school. I mean, he's sweet all the time, but he loves, loves, loves going to school. We, I think, yeah, on Tuesday, we actually kept him home from school because he had like a croup sounding cough. And I was just, I wasn't sure if he was gonna spike a fever. I wasn't sure if he was contagious because he just woke up with it. Monday he was fine. And then Tuesday he just woke up with the cough, so I did keep him home from school. And today, he sounds like, I mean, he still has that cough. I think I caught a little bit of that on camera, but today he has a cough still, but it's not as bad and like gnarly as it was on Tuesday. But my point is, when he was home on Tuesday, you guys, he's three. He really, really, really needs to be in school, I will say, just that much. It is so good for him. He literally, he goes, like, he doesn't know what to do with himself when he's at home. His, like, stimulation and his energy level and all of that stuff combined together, he just needs to be in school. I'll just say that much because he was, I didn't get anything done that day. And I think I vlogged it so you guys already know what I'm talking about. But literally, I started a project. I wasn't able to finish sleeping. I wasn't able to finish vacuuming. I wasn't able to finish my coffee just because he just needed my undivided attention, which is fine. I don't mind and he wasn't feeling well. I had Ryan go into work and I stayed home with him. It's just interesting how kids are when they don't feel well, you know? Or actually, it was. it's just interesting how kids are. And it wasn't that he wasn't feeling well, it's just he didn't know what to do and I just kept him home just to be on the safe side. But this morning, since I didn't go into work on Tuesday, I worked from home when he napped, but since I didn't really have like a solid day at work Tuesday and then Wednesday, Hannah talked me into going to pick up Addie from school and then we went to Bass and Robbins and then we took a joyride and then by the time I got home it was time to cook dinner so I didn't want to work yesterday either. I got to pull a lot of hours at work today so once I get all that done I'm in charge of dinner today. I'm making Indian food and we're having a few people over for dinner because apparently there's no good Indian restaurants in town so they just make reservations with me. Peace. You guys, I hate pumping gas. So I brought Ryan with me to the gas station so he can pump gas. It's just one of those things where I just, honestly, I hate pumping gas. This poor white balance is so off. You guys want to see Ryan? Or do you want to see me? <laughs> look at, look at, or I get super dark and you get you're not available. <laughs> Wish I could do that in real life. I'm kidding, baby, I love you. Are you crushing candy? Reading the story about how TikTok is moving into Facebook territory. Ryan loves to read. I do too, but not as much as him. He loves to research and find things out. Like today he was telling me, he goes, bless you. Today he was telling me how he doesn't really care where we pump gas because he did research and it doesn't really matter. It's just name brands and blah, 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 blah. So he's like, you can go to AM Pam or you can go to Chevron, wherever you want. On a other note, we just pumped a full tank of gas in our Buick Enclave. How much, baby? How much is gas? $81, your car was crazy. $81 for 20 gallons of gas. Almost 21. <laughs> Here we go, another day, another dollar. Today, I'm hoping to finish my work, like for this week, and also do a little bit of organization because that is not working for me. I just wanna go through and, I don't know, just organize and put labels on things and put things away, kind of like I do at home, so everything has a home. I'm glad that I'm here. Actually, the time is wrong. It's 9.03 right now. Yeah, it's 9.03, I promise. 910 over there. Can't be that big of an overachiever, but I'm glad I'm here before 10 o'clock today. Silas is actually getting picked up by my sister-in-law, which means that I don't have to leave here by a certain time today, except in enough time for me to be able to cook dinner, which could be like five o'clock if I wanted to. So work, 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 work. You guys, I'm a planner. I put paper in the printer before I start printing. It's not out yet, but I checked and it's low, so I'm gonna put the paper in there before it starts to print. I 
just looked at my hair and oh my goodness, it is tore up. But I wanted to really quickly tell you guys that one of my favorite things about my job is that I get to use postage stamps and mail postcards. This one says, Peekaboo, we like to see you. This one says, I miss you. She's so cute. And this one says, Peekaboo, I'd like to see you. So I get to order them and then um, for any of our clubbers or anybody that misses Sunday school or the ministries that we oversee, we send them a postcard. But it's like, look, good old U.S. post, good old U.S. postage stamps. That's really hard to say. Um, sent over to just anybody. It could be adults, it could be children, it could be parents, you know, whoever it is. We just send them a card so that way, hey, you know, that way they know that they've been missed and we're hoping that they would come back again soon. But it's just like, you look at the different little things that you get to do for work and it makes you grateful. And I'm just today, I'm grateful that I get to send out postcards. You know how excited I am to get mail that's not like a bill. And then like this, this batch that I'm sending, they're for our cubbies group. So it's like Silas's age children. Just think how excited your toddler would be if they got mail, like legit. Silas would be excited. He would be like, this is for me? Cubby sent me this? I stuck my hair up, you guys. I didn't get to organizing my desk area. My sister-in-law had Gorney and she just brought him back. Hi, Bubby! Bubby! Oh, he's sleeping. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we can't go closer. Isn't that neat? I know the sun's in your face, huh, Bubby? Go look at it. We keep finding random things that Silas is in love with and we just found people doing stuff. Whoa. Did you see that, Bubby? He wants to sit in it. How cool is that? You love it? He's all minus the sun in my face. So, I try work on something beauty wise every once in a while I get this like oh let me try doing this let me try doing that so my last thing was braids and which I'm gonna actually have to put one in it's really windy today and my hair is not doing well so I need to put my hair up in a braid but I feel like that was something that I started like maybe two months ago and I I've gotten better at it and I've gotten to a point where I actually like it. And now it's on to my next thing. My next thing is my eyebrows. Why is this not focused very well? Okay, so my next thing is my eyebrows. This light is making my forehead look really shiny when it's not. Oh, look at all those gray hair. I decided to buy this dip brow pomade. I have the shade medium brown and I've been taking a stab at it. Literally a stab. I got my brow brush and all of that and it's just, it takes, it takes a lot of effort. It really takes a lot of effort to make it look somewhat decent. What happens is that I feel like once I'm done putting on my makeup and stuff like that, my eyebrows get really, really light. So you can maybe tell the difference between them. And I like it a little bit thicker than I have it, but I want it to have like an arch also. So this is something that I'm working on. I'm home from work. I have to do a few things around the house. I have to do laundry and I'm dreading doing laundry. So instead of doing laundry, I'm sitting here trying to do my eyebrows. Do you guys have any tips and tricks for eyebrows? I've watched every YouTube video that exists and it's not helpful. I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna try to do this the best that I can. I actually like washed my face off and I reapplied my lipstick too because my, it was really, really windy and it got dusty and I felt like my face was itchy and all of that. So I baby wiped or makeup removed my face and then I um, reapplied my lipstick. So I'm gonna go with a little lighter look today than what I started off with. But I gotta cook, I'm in charge of cooking and all of that stuff, so I'm not really too excited about, like I don't have too much going on. Y'all bring me your tips and tricks for this stuff because this woman, she just don't know. Okay, so now I've got it on, but I feel like I've got it on too thick. But now I feel like I have too much on. I also read that you can take concealer around it. Watched, I watched, not read. Watch, so you can put concealer around it. So let's try concealing. Not a makeup person you guys please don't be watching this video to get yourself to be an expert and doing eyebrows because that ain't gonna work however I will say this much I bought a new beauty blender correction my friend gave me a beauty blender we're stepping up in this world still not a professional though 
So I concealed both sides and here's what one side looks like. Obviously you can tell which side is not concealed and blended. But let me see if I can get this side to not look like it's pretty. Oh, I touched my eyeballs with my beauty blender. <sighs> So I'm over my eyebrows. This is the best that I can come up with. Oops, be careful, Bobby. Silas is getting ready to take a nappity nap now. Uh oh, did you he almost fail, Bobby? He actually got an alarm clock today. You want to look at it? Are you asking family? You're so sweet. He talks to you guys like, you know, you're here. That's so sweet, Bobby. Let's not eat poop. What do you think? Do you think it's gonna go beep, 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 Okay, and then what do you do? How do you turn it off, Bubby? I'll tell you, look right here. Look over yeah. there, go over there. Whoa. Oh gosh. It up. You better turn that off fast, bro. It's this button right here, alarm, can you push it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Unplug it. I guess you have to do this switch, turn it off, and then on again. Okay, Bubby. It's crazy. Did you show him how to do it? I don't want to hear that thing. You turn it off like that. You got so it? Switch, you turn it off. Mm -hmm. What do you think? <laughs> okay, that was not necessary. <laughs> Honestly, if I were you, I wouldn't rely on him. Like, don't bite my phone, please. I wouldn't count on Silas being the one that actually turns, up, turns it off and wakes up the family. Because he could turn it off like in the middle of the night. The idea. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh! <laughs> hey, you gotta be gentle. Say okay, okay, Father. <laughs> Stinky baby. <laughs> gentle, gentle. Don't hit me with your knees, please. Hey guys, toddler jabs in like your chest or your rib or your stomach. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Right? I'm not alone. I know I'm not. Okay. <laughs> We're taking advantage. I'm not. Ah! That's not nice. You're taking advantage. Okay, then don't, t don't take advantage, please. Don't take advantage. Okay. Go potty, please. It's not. It's no potty in the kids. Excuse me. No, no, you need to go potty. He goes. The other day I wasn't putting him to bed and he goes, can you please put me to bed? I'll take advantage. I was like, wait, you're not supposed to take advantage, but he just knows to use the word advantage, but he doesn't know how to use it in like the right proper sentence. But he usually likes me to put him to bed and if he doesn't do something that I specifically ask him to do, like right now, he needs to go potty before he goes down for a nap. I go, if you don't go potty, then I'm not gonna put you to bed and then like I'll tell him a couple times and then be like okay you're taking advantage and all of a sudden he goes to the bathroom I don't know what it is but he prefers for me to put him to take a nap he doesn't want Ryan to it's not that Ryan does it any different I don't know I won I'm I'm the person come on Bubby before mommy falls asleep he turned the fan on in here before he left and I got a blanket that's covering my ear in two seconds of Hannah's already here, ready to pick up the kids. Hey, you got the stuff? You got the stuff? Don't you sleep me? Don't breathe. Don't wake her up. Hey, girl. You got candy? <laughs> I do. Totally forgot to vlog, but here I am, cooking like I'm supposed to be. Look at how good this looks, you guys. Just look. We got a curry going in in here. These do have bones in them. It's a very, very, very common Indian way to have this meal. Here we have a very, very common 
Indian thing. This is called dal. So this is, I just added turmeric to it. And it just kind of needs to get to a point where it comes to a boil. Mm -hmm. I want to vlog. You want to vlog too? How was dinner? Good. What did mommy make? Butta! And was it Hindustani kana or was it American food? American food. <laughs> negative <laughs> i'm glad i vlogged that portion of it all right so it's actually been a very 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 long time since we've ended a vlog upstairs usually i end up ending it downstairs and that's it um ryan did you want to explain this tv thing like you usually do yeah you can end the vlog thank you for asking thank huh? you I'm, I'm you're good, good. okay <laughs> why does he always say that It says if you don't have some thumbs up, then yell for help. No, it says if you don't, if you have a problem, you just yell for help. Oh, no, but you changed it into. No, if you don't have some thumbs up, just yell for help. Okay. Yep. If you're new to us, welcome. Thank you for taking time out of your day to help. spend it with us. I like this. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, join the family. We'll catch you guys next time. Bye bye for now. Hey everybody. everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Until next time. We'll see you next time. Come on, let's go. Let's go.